Hey class, all right, so ceramics not there today. Again, Boston, I'm having fun, I hope. Uh, so here's what I need you guys to do. You guys, again, working on those gnome houses, working on those pattern cups. Now on those pattern cups, make sure that uh, if you've gone to the stage of you already built the cup up and now we're putting the pattern application on you got two types that you're working on you have the scraffito technique and the mishima technique the scraffito is to scratch through the surface so for that one you've covered your design you've taken your design you've covered it with the brown slip showed you that on the second day i think uh you covered it with the brown slip and now you're carving through uh you're scraping off the brown slip over it so that you can reveal the pattern that you have underneath now once you have that done working on the second one which is the pattern the other pattern cup this pattern is the mishima technique mishima is going to be where you put the brown slip on first then you carve through it make sure that your patterns are really well thought out and well done i do recommend that you don't carve onto these pieces uh specifically the mishima technique until your piece is leather hard what is leather hard leather hard is where the piece is cool not tacky not sticky as it is when it's fresh clay but it's cooled off to, uh it's still cool to the touch which means it's really um it's not fully dried out, but the clay is dried enough to where it has like a leathery kind of a surface to it. So what you do need to know is once it reaches that stage, you can carve through it with the carve tools. Make sure that you're going back and cleaning those up afterwards. Use a dry brush to kind of flick away from the designs. That'll make sure that the brown slip doesn't get into the design, but it also keeps the brown slip on that top surface and you just want to delicately just kind of brush away those little those little, uh, call them pill pieces that pop up on the design. So clean those designs and make sure they're nice and perfected. As soon as you're done with your pieces, as always, put them in the firebox. Once the firebox is loaded, I know that you're that those pieces are ready to be fired and I load the kiln accordingly. If the piece is not in the firebox, you don't get credit because I don't know it's done. So take care of that. Again, if you have questions, concerns, or comments, raise your hand down in the comments below. Otherwise, shoot me an email. Happy to respond and help you out as best I can. Other than that, I will see you guys next class.